This girl works at Hooters, and she gets some crazy gifts. So let's check these out. Ho, ho, Hooters. Customers might be in the gift-giving mood this Christmas, but one waitress would prefer they just eat, drink, and be merry rather than load her down with creepy presents. Which, by the way, I gotta say, it must be weird being an attractive girl with a whole bunch of dudes wanting to give you random stuff. So ahead of the holidays, Hooters girl Emily Hoffman is virally displaying some of her, in quotes, favorite gifts she, she's received from frequenters of the popular Chicken Shack location in Cincinnati, Ohio. And their tokens of appreciation include a body part from a customer's dead pet and a crop top that reads, I have no you know what. Today, I am showing you my favorite things that I've received from customers at Hooters, said Hoffman in her trending show and tell snippet, which has stacked over 536,900 views on TikTok. Which, I gotta say, people tend to share way too much about their lives. So let's see. She kicked off her exhibition. Exhibition with a tattered promotional flyer of a patron's self-produced YouTube film titled Grandpa is a Cutthroat Gangster Who is Also a Protective Grandfather. And the petite brunette then displayed a black tank top inked with I have no, you know, well, basically boobs, and bold white print. The gag gift was presumably meant to mock Hoffman for having a slim frame while working in an environment best known for its busty Wait staff. Okay, next, she said after taking a pregnant pause, whatever that is, while holding up the shady shirt. This is a feather from a man's dead bird, Hoffman continued, swapping out the crop top for a small box that held a tiny red quill. Its name was Gigi, and it got hit by a car. Interesting. She went on to showcase a series of other odd customer gifts, including a diamond dollar, which is fake money used as currency at a local strip club, as well as more than a dozen small boxes filled with jewelry. That's not bad, said Hoffman as she dangled a twinkling tennis bracelet in the camera. The dazzle of her jewels notwithstanding, TikTok audiences were clucking mad over her cringy swag. OMG, this is insane commented one freaked out viewer. I can't even imagine how awkward it was to receive these, scoffed another. I'm so confused. Shouldn't they be leaving you cash, another wrote. And while other and while outraged spectators wagged their fingers at Hoffman's weird gifts, her fellow Hooters waitresses weighed in with the kooky keepsakes they've received from generous customers. One time someone gifted me with a live crab, like a legit crab he bought at a seafood store, one woman confessed. That's weird. My experience, a Hyman Inspector card, a box full of his ex-girlfriend's belongings, homemade food in Hooters to go boxes, another groaned. But when a commenter asked Hoffman if customers ever gift her cash rather than feathers, she said it depends how many birds died that day. Weird. See, the thing is, like, I don't know. I feel like being a lady that is somewhat attractive in a public setting can be a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. You have the potential to basically make some extra cash for not necessarily doing anything extra, but at the same time, you get like really creepy people coming into your life now. So I guess it's really up to you, like how you end up going about this whole situation. Because, like, if you, like, for example, if she were to play it right, she could basically double or triple the amount of money that she's making on like a per week basis, right? So 
let's just take like a random guess. Let's say that she was only making like $500 per week on average. Well, if she played her cards right, she could maybe make a thousand, fifteen hundred, maybe even two thousand dollars after she basically kind of swoons these individuals. But at the same time, you kind of get into a weird zone where, okay, the more friendly you get with these people, yes, you might end up making more money, but at the same time, are you giving them wrong signals where they might misunderstand it and might actually start to believe that you are like a thing to them now, right? Instead of just being a good customer-server relationship. Because I guess it's kind of like similar in the same context of like, like let's say that there's like a Twitch streamer with a good amount of fans that are guys, right? And they stream like on like every single day to this cus- like to this audience that's mainly guys. And she keeps on like playing like this weird social dynamic relationship up and up and up to the point where, yeah, she's making a lot more money now, but now people think that they know you when they don't really know you. They think that you're in a relationship with them when you're not in a relationship with them. So, I don't know. It just gets into like a weird situation. Like, it kind of comes down to is more money worth the risk of something negative happening because you start having crazy people being basically fans of you. Like, that gets like a really odd situation. I I, I don't know what amount of money would make it worth it because I think I remember seeing a story where like a girl became like almost like a sugar baby to someone where they ended up making like $2,000 $2,000 or something per month from like just text messages. Hold on, let's see. Let's see. Hooters, girl, sugar, baby, text. I don't know if it's actually going to pull up something. Okay, Hooters. Let's see. Hooters Girl. Maybe that will pull up something. Let's see. No. Work at Hooters. Ex Hooters Girl. Original Hooters. I broke other roads when I worked at Hooters. No. No. I was at Hooters Girl. Let's see. My big belly fetches over four hundred dollars in tips as pregnant hood receiver. No. Let's see. Let's see. Hooters waitress reveals her feisty secrets to getting huge tips. Actually, you know what? Let's check this out. Let's see. Tipping is a pivotal part of the service industry, and advice on how to maximize a tip is always appreciated. A Hooters waiter shared her secrets to raking in the big bucks, saying it's not just about how you dress, style your hair, or do your makeup. It also involves subtle interactions with customers. And again, like, this is my thing, right? When is, like... This like subtle interactions, like when does it go too far and where it ends up basically becoming not worth it for the money? So waitress Abby Lynn posted her secrets to TikTok, swearing by her tried and tested methods to scoring an extra dollar out of every customer. Lynn advises, first of all, to make sure you always worry about your appearance. People really notice whenever you put an effort into yourself and in your job, And that kind of goes hand in hand. So, they tip you more, she says. She also says to always keep the customer's drinks full, 
describing it as the most important thing. Basically, just like really good customer service. Okay. Even if they're halfway full, bring them another one because people are impatient. She advises, keep them full. Okay. Not bad. Her next tip depends on how comfortable you are talking to customers. Advising that giving customers nicknames creates a connection. I like to call everybody by like these little pet names. It makes them more comfortable and it makes them more attracted to you. See, this gets into like, again, that weird zone. How far are you willing to go down this route for some extra money when it can really backfire and you get some really unwanted attention? I always say, hey, babe, can I get you another drink? Hey, hon, did you want another beer? Hey, sweetheart, are you ready for that check? They eat it up, I'm telling you, she says. She also has tips on how to charm someone if they are with a significant other or on a date, saying it's particularly important when you work in an establishment like Hooters. If a guy's with a girl, you always greet the girl first, she said. You pay attention to that girl. You make eye contact with that girl. Lynn says the only time you're going to look at the man is when you're taking his order or giving him the drink. Always make the girl feel comfortable, she advises, especially when you work in a place like Hooters. Having fun on the job is also a must, with Lynn saying that laughing a lot is vital. Even if you don't think it's funny, even if you're offended by it, laugh, she urges viewers, because they will tip you, I promise. Now, customers don't always want a super sweet server, Lynn says. Revealing that another secret is it's okay to be sassy to customers, particularly older men claiming that customers will be more interested in tipping a feisty server. Her example was to respond, no, when a customer asks for a condiment but says it's important to make it obvious that you are going to get what they ask for and always smile. Her next tip was slightly controversial, always blame the kitchen. If you forgot to bring in food, That's the kitchen's fault, she says, suggesting to offer something like a free dessert to get back in the customer's good graces. Her last piece of advice is to have fun or at least look like you are, particularly in a chain restaurant where they repeatedly play the same music. Learn the songs, love the songs, sing and dance to the songs, give them a little lip sync, a little shimmy, she said. If it's their favorite song or even if they just think you're a good time, they're going to tip you. And in a follow-up clip, Lynn stressed how important it was to make every customer feel comfortable and engage in conversation. She suggests that the more you try it, the more naturally it will come. So again, you got to really weigh the pros and cons to this because like, I understand a lady in that situation wanting to make more money, trying to maximize the amount of money that she can make. But again, you got to be very careful because there's some really big weirdos that go there, potentially, right? You might get some really unwanted attention, and then really, is it worth the extra money to put yourself through that hassle, you know?